Hi there, in this video we're going to learn when to put an E behind adjectives in Dutch. So let's take an example. Een klein huis, a small house, and een kleine tuin, a small garden. So why is there an E at the end of small garden and why isn't there one? Uh, in the first example, so we have a highly exciting grammar lesson coming up. So first of all, uh, the rules are quite simple. If you've ever tried to learn German, well, it's nothing like that. German is way more complicated than uh, this. And second, this E only appears when the adjective is just in front of the noun. For example, the tuin is klein. Klein, uh, so the garden is, is, is small. Klein is not just in front of the noun, so no e, no problems. Another example, de problemen zijn moeilijk. The problems are difficult. Moeilijk is not in front of problemen, so no e. So that's one thing to start with. So, uh, when your adjective is just in front of the noun, in most cases we will put an e at the end of it. Uh, like in een kleine tuin. So, when the, is it not the case? When is there no e? Well, in this particular combination. When there's een plus the adjective plus a noun that takes the article het. So a little bit about articles. Um, all the nouns in Dutch take either de or het as an article. And there's not really a way of knowing. So you have to study them. But most of the nouns take de. So uh, that's the combination. That's the magic combination uh, where you have to drop the E. So for example, een klein huis. Well, huis is a het word. Het huis. So een Klein huis, not a klein huis. There are other ways to avoid it. For example, if you uh, take the article het, het kleine huis. Ah, well, it's not een. The first, the first word, the article is not um, is not uh, uh, een. So then we put an e. Or uh, het moeilijke probleem. It is het probleem, but there's no an. Or in the plural, moeilijke problemen. So if it's in the plural, well, <laughs> then, uh, then you get an e. All right. One small detail to add there. If you're using geen, then the e will also be dropped if it's a het word, right? And if the adjective is just in front of the noun. So that's geen moeilijk probleem. And there are some other words that use this same uh, mechanism, like elk, every, elk probleem, of elke tuin, every problem or every garden. So that's it on uh, when to add the e at the end of uh, the adjective. But uh, there's a little more. Sometimes when you add an e, it changes the word. Let's take an example. So, uh, groot means big. Uh, het grote huis. Aha, grote. The double O becomes one O. And yes, that's not a typo. Uh, when there are two the same vowels, like O, E, A, and U, plus one consonant, and you have to add an E, then the double uh, becomes a single vowel. For example, duur, dure. It's expensive. And so duur becomes dure. And it's also the same way if uh, there's only one letter, uh, one vowel, and then a consonant after it, then you have to make sure that the pronunciation remains the same. And what happens then? Then the uh, consonant is doubled. For example, net means clean, nette. If you, there would only be one T, then we would pronounce it nete. And then oh, people would be confused, so we don't do that. Another example, fit, means fit, healthy. 
uh, fit. All right, so that's for O E I O E A I U. Then we add another consonant. And then one last thing. Uh, yes, the grammar lesson isn't over yet. Uh, if the adjective ends with an F or with an S, then the last consonant will change. For example, definitif, definitive. So the F turns into a V. And uh, that's definitive, by the way. I'm sure you've guessed that. And rose becomes rose. Uh, rose means pink. And uh, as you see, the S turns into a Z. And there's a little combo there because the double O turns into an O as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this question was actually asked by one of the subscribers. Thank you, Ervin, for asking that question. So if you have other questions, uh, all of you feel free to ask them in the comments. Also, if you're interested to learn Dutch or and if you're just a beginner, feel free to check out the discounts for my online Dutch course in the description. So, tot ziens, bye bye.